In this video, I'll explain to you how to connect your ADSB.im feeder image to FlightAware. For this, we first need to go to the feeder image homepage. So we go to myfeeder.local in your browser, which gets us to the homepage for a feeder named MyFeeder. Then we click on data sharing, and here we pick FlightAware from the account based aggregators. If you have a key, you can simply uh, type it in here. But in this example, we want to request a key from FlightAware. This can take a really long time, several minutes. But here with the magic of editing, we'll actually make it be a lot shorter and simply jump ahead in the timeline. Once you receive the key back, um, you will see it here. And now it's very important that you first click on Apply Settings so that the feeder starts talking to the FlightAware website so that the website knows that we are feeding to it. Now we can go back to data sharing and from the data sharing website, we can look for the PyAware page link under that section here and go to the local FlightAware status page on your feeder, which includes that link to the FlightAware website where you can claim your feeder for your account. So you click on that and you will see it now shows your uh, newly claimed ground station. Um, typically, when you go from here to the uh, status page, it takes a little while before this comes up. Um, so you may have to reload this page a few times. But once you are here, you can now adjust the location information for your feeder. Make sure that you are looking at the correct site so that sometimes if you have multiple sites, you need to pick the correct site right there. But once you have the correct site, click on the gear. And then in that site configuration control panel, you can give the site a name. And most importantly, you can configure the location. Um, the tool offers you a little map, which for some reason puts me in the middle of the ocean here. But since we already configured the feeder, we do have the correct uh, in the, uh, location of our antenna. So we simply click on the I know my receiver's location, enter the latitude and longitude just like we did for the feeder. And then there will be a save button here in the corner and we save the data. And now the site is configured and FlightAware will start tracking your data. And in a few minutes, even MLAT will work.